Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install VMware Workstation Player on your Windows 10 computer. Formerly it was called VMware Player, now they have changed the name to VMware Workstation Player. Let's type in VMware and then click on the VMware option here and then go to products here and then you need to go to the desktop option here desktop and hypervisor and this is the workstation player in the past it was called vmware player now it's called vmware workstation player and then um, this is right now at the time of the recording it's a vmware workstation player 17 download for free click on the download go to downloads here and then you need to download that to your windows operating system or linux i have a windows 10 so i'm going to click on uh, here right now and it is uh, downloading now once download complete click on this and you will get this one if you happen to miss this one you can go to your downloads and then go here to the downloads and it will be here you have to double click here click yes let me close this one and now it starts to install click next and uh, you need to accept the vmware end user license agreement if you accept it click here and then click next and it is asking you want to install in this path if you do not have a good reason to change it just leave it uh, like that you can install enhanced keyboard driver a reboot will be required to use this feature i'm going to click this one this feature also requires 10 mb of your drive space that is fine add vmware workstation console tool into system path it's been already checked so i will leave it there so i'm going to click next check for product updates on startup just leave it checked so you will be notified when the new versions comes up join the vmware customer experience improvement program so i'm going to uncheck that one click here it's going to install the shortcut in the desktop and the start menu i will leave that checked click here install install now complete click finish and it's asking me you must restart your system for the configuration changes made to the vmware player to take effect click yes to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart later i'm going to click yes to restart the computer has restarted and now you can see the vmware workstation player 17 on my desktop and also in the start button here click on this one and now my vmware player has started the first option here is use vmware workstation 17 player for free for non-commercial use or enter a license key for commercial use i'm going to use it for non-commercial so i'm going to leave like that continue click finish and this is how it's going to look like you can create new virtual machines or you can open uh, virtual machines here and if you decide you want more advanced features you can upgrade this version to vmware workstation pro also so let me click on this one and see how it looks like create a new virtual machine the most popular option to install a virtual machine is point to an iso file so this is the browse path you point to the iso file so this is how you download and install vmware workstation player on your windows 10 computer if this video is informative to you please do like the video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification to get latest update from my channel all right thanks bye